Hello everyone. Welcome to another inspiring inquiry. I know it's been way too long, but we're here and we're back. So let's get back to the journey. Today, I actually just want to share a testimonial. You know, I feel like the spirit is really urging me, nudging me to share it. So hopefully it will inspire someone or maybe have someone inquire more about God. Now, the journey started many years ago when I became a Christian. And ever since then, I would, you know, randomly give offerings to the church when the basket came around, like what was in my purse, or maybe I would deliberately grab a little money from the ATM and offer what I could. And whenever a pastor would talk about tithing or giving like that, I always found it a little uncomfortable at first, just because of the direct connection between his salary and the church so i had to do some more digging to just understand what tithing if you don't know really quick tithing is equaling tenth ten percent of what you earn it started back in moses days when um, he put it into law so that everyone would give first ten percent of what they earned and i think even when people give today if even if it's not ten percent i know that the sentiment is still the same right it's practicing and understanding the importance of giving even people who don't believe in god know the importance of that energy transfer right the give and receive transfer so it's a good practice um to give in general now one of the most interesting things i found about tithing is that there is this verse in the bible that talks about your heart it's in matthews i want to say matthew 6 um, i'll put it in text but it talks about your heart being where your treasure is which is true, right? What you what you value, what you desire, that's kind of where your heart is. And, and when you tithe, you're literally taking something of value and placing it in a place so your heart can follow. You know what I mean? I know um, I started giving very frequently to a church and I remember being very interested in all of the initiatives that um, they would do throughout the year because I knew my investment was there, you know, my heart was there. So that's one of the things that I found about tithing is that it really ties me <laughs> to my faith. Um, also understanding that God has provided everything. And that's why the 10% to me is a little tricky because some would say 10% is not enough. Some would say 10% is too much. And I don't think, um, God is so much focused on the amount as to just where your heart is. There's a nice verse in the Bible, Corinthians, Second Corinthians 9, 7. It talks about giving with a cheerful heart, you know, that God loves a cheerful giver. And that every man according to just their purpose is going to understand what his heart will allow him to give. So it's really just being aware of that and checking yourself and what you have and what you have given and, and, and seeing what is enough for you. What, what does that look like? And doing it on a regular basis. So for me, I figured that out, right? And I found a church I really liked. This is in the States here. And they have this online giving platform. Very easy, right? So I don't have to be like, well, I don't have any money in my purse today. Shucks. Like uh, you can just set it up online or pay online when you get home. So one day, the spirit again is like Regina. Every so often you're doing this donation online, um, why not just set it up recurring if you're serious, right? So I was like, all right. I mean, I would miss a month or two with what I was doing. So yeah, if I set it up recurring, I'm serious. I'm committing to giving this amount. I don't have to think about it. It will just come out of my account. So I set it up. People, the next day, I got a call from a relative saying that the spirit moved them to call me and offered me money for free. Just, hey, I was going to do this. I was going to do that. And the spirit moved me to give you this amount. Honestly, that's not a joke that happened. Um, another thing is that I was telling my friend the story and she was moved and she did the same thing. And I'm telling you the next day. Her boss called and she got a promotion. And I'm not sharing this to encourage you to get more wealth. I'm sharing it to show you that to God, well, I, th I think, you know, to God, 
it doesn't seem to money isn't a thing it's not he can bless you tomorrow with with a snap of his finger um in ways you'd never think or imagine and one of the ways that you can show your faith to him and one of the ways that you can show your commitment to him and your humility towards everything that he can provide is to to give to give to him to give to his church to give to his cause to give to um, an institution that is going to use that to do more good so right now i'm sitting in my first house yes thank you i know you're saying congrats regina <laughs> but i couldn't have done it without this family member who got the spirit to call them to call me um to send send some money my way i really couldn't have done it without this family member which means i couldn't have done it without god and i couldn't have done it without tithing you know what tithing is not the right word because i don't give a tenth of everything i've ever made but i've found a purposed amount that my heart is um content with and i've committed to giving that amount every single month per so i hope this is, inspires you in some way or even gets you to inquire more about it and um, god bless you all